Hey guys, it's been over a month since I posted a video. I missed you. I've been busy, flat out. January uh, in Australia gets pretty hectic. It's summer, it's hot. We tend to go out a bit more. It's school holidays. I was also looking for work. I was unemployed for a little while there. I now did find a temporary job, but at the same time, my YouTube channel has reached a new high. I've reached a milestone over a thousand subscribers, which I never thought it was going to be possible, but it did happen. And I have you to thank for all my subscription likes and shares and all the wonderful comments that I received. It's been a very positive experience ever since I started making YouTube videos. Um, now with that comes a bit of negativity. My YouTube channel now displays adverts, which are organized completely by YouTube, but in return, I get monetized. So I want to see where this goes. I want to see how far it goes. I want to see if it's actually worthwhile making money on YouTube. I have no idea about this, but I'll give it a try. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys how to block those ads because I know ads can be so annoying. And some of my earlier videos that I've done about a year ago, I specifically had an intro that said enjoy tech videos ad free and then all of a sudden you see that intro on some of my older videos and then next minute you see an ad I wasn't even aware about this because everything that I use I block ads on I have Windows computers as you know and also use Android devices and uh, it's actually relatively easy to block ads on those devices except Apple so if you're an Apple user I can't help you with this video but if you're using an Android device or a Windows device I can certainly help you and it's actually pretty easy as well um, so without a further ado I'm going to jump on the computer and I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to block adverts within a Windows computer and then I'm going to show you a little screenshot or I'm going to show you a little screen recording from my Samsung phone which is an Android obviously to show you how you can download an ad-free version of YouTube that you can use for yourself it's absolutely free and um, enjoy ad-free YouTube so you can still watch my videos but you don't get to see the ads so it's a bit of a win-win situation for everybody. And like I said, if you're an Apple user, I'm terribly sorry. But then again, if you are an Apple user, I suppose you're used to the restrictions of Apple. <laughs> but uh, without a further ado, let's get started and uh, let's block these ads. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, the first thing you want to do is open up the Microsoft App Store, which is represented by a little shopping bag. This is normally down in the taskbar, but if it's not, open up the Start menu and go down to M. You'll be looking for the app called Microsoft Store. It has to be there, so go ahead and open it. And once you open it, you'll be presented with this window, and then just click on the search pane up the top right hand corner, and type in add guard as you can see on the screen and click on search scroll down to where you see the app section and we need to download and install add guard ad blocker it's a green shield with a white tick so you can't miss it then go ahead and click on install you may be asked to sign into the Microsoft um, account App Store, but you don't really have to, so you can just close that off. Simply click on the X in the top right hand corner. If it comes up again, go ahead and click on it. As you can see in the background, it's already starting to download anyway. It's just Microsoft's way trying to get you to sign up. Wait until the download is finished. That'll install automatically. And then you can simply go ahead and click on the launch button and this will open Microsoft Edge. And then going to the right hand corner where the three dots are, if you click on that, it will give you a little description that AdGuard AdBlocker has just been installed. So you can now turn it on or switch it off. Obviously we want to turn it on. So go ahead and click on that button. And then you will need to configure the extension. 
there's not much to this. It's just letting you know that AdGuard is capable of doing a lot more than just blocking ads. As you can see, this can filter known counters and analytical systems, which prevent websites from spying on you. That's great. So you just want to toggle that on. Social network widgets filter. You may want to leave this off, especially if you visit social websites like Facebook, Twitter, and so on. Um, that's not very bad at all. The third one, you definitely want to have that switched on because that gives you protection against phishing and malicious websites. And at the end, you want to toggle off both of these. So what you want to do basically is just have the first one and the third switch on. And then once you're done, you'll see the green shield is now present on the right hand top corner to let you know that it's doing its job. And this will now block all adverts within Microsoft Edge, whether they're on YouTube or not. But let's just go to YouTube and uh, quickly visit my channel and see how it will behave with it on. As you can see, there's a number four on the shield at the moment, which means that it's already blocked off four adverts on this page. That's great. Now it's gone up to five. And as you use the website more and more, that number will keep going up. I'll just quickly go onto my channel and see if we can fire up a video without any adverts and see if it still works properly. I'll just type in alternative tech reports. Okay. Now, one of my most heavily advertised video is one of my most viewed video, which is the no home group, no problem one. And uh, typically there's about four ads on this website. As you can see, that video started up straight up, but uh, the ad guard ad blocker has blocked 21 attempts so far on YouTube trying to advertise on this video. Now, just a quick experiment. I switched it off and I'm going to refresh this page and see how it behaves without it. And there you go. You can see that there's a Coca-Cola ad just before the video starts. Naturally, it allows you to skip it, but still it's annoying. And you can see where the yellow bars are that there will be another pop-up advert where the little yellow notch is. I'll just fast forward the video and see what happens at that point where the yellow notch is. And here we go. There's a little pop-up down the bottom. One year plan for 99 cents. Okay, so we don't want that at all. And there's an ad on the right hand side. Just going to pause the video and re-enable the ad blocker again. Refresh the page. And now we are ad free. Okay, so that's all you have to do in Microsoft Edge. All other browsers are pretty much the same. Uh, just show you quickly if you are a Google Chrome user, which most of you should be anyway, because it's far better than Microsoft Edge. We will need to go to the top hand top right hand corner and click on the three dots and then we go down to more tools and then we select extensions in the extensions page go to the left click on the little extensions hamburger menu and go all the way down to open chrome web store this is where we'll be downloading the ad guide ad blocker from the chrome web store so in the search pane simply type in ad guide again and select enter and you will see on the right hand side we've got the ad guard ad blocker so simply click on the blue button where it says add to chrome and then click on add extension this works in the same way as it did on the microsoft edge so we'll just wait for it to quickly download and install and then we'll configure the extension Once again, what we have to do is just toggle the first and the third switch on and leave everything off. And we are done. You can see the green shield is now present on the top right hand corner, just as it was in Microsoft Edge. If you are using a different browser like Mozilla Firefox, it's basically the same thing. You just need to go to the Mozilla App Store and find AdGuard in there as well. 
So that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to switch over to my phone. I'll be recording the screen on the phone. So excuse the resolution. It will be a little bit squashy. It won't be 16.9. It'll be upright. But I'm going to show you how you can download an application which is YouTube Vanced. And uh, YouTube Vanced is designed by a special team of people that basically gives you the same premium features as the one that you normally pay money for, but you don't get the ads. Let's go. Just like the computer before, open up any browser on your Android device and then go to a website called vanced.app. As you can see on the screen, that's V-A-N-C-E-D dot A-P-P and you'll be presented with the actual YouTube Vanced website. You can go ahead and have a bit of a read within this website to let you know what this is all about. But uh, I'm going to scroll down because I'm already familiar with this site and go straight to non-root downloads as most of you may have non-root devices and click on the download button and on the next page you'll be presented with a simple instruction number one you need to install the APK like any other normal version and then install micro G which is only optional if you want to sign in with your Google account to keep track of your history and your playlists so first of all, I'm going to go down to non-root downloads and I always get the first edition, which is the white dark and simply click on the little square box or rectangle box where the version number and the date is. And as soon as you tap on that, you will see that the app will start downloading through your browser. You'll get a prompt whether you want to download the file. Just go ahead and click on download. And once it's done, simply select open file and then you may get a prompt, a security message saying that you are trying to install an app other than the Play Store, which is completely fine. There's no security risks using this app. I've been using it for years now and just go ahead and install it as you normally would. Allow the permissions to go through. And once it's done, you can either select open or click on its corresponding icon. As you can see, once it's fired up for the first time, it will give you the names of the people behind the team of this app. You can start watching YouTube videos instantly. They'll be already ad free. If you try to sign in, it'll ask you and remind you that you'll need to install the micro G app, which is a separate app that allows you to sign into your Google account in order to save your history and your playlists and so on and your subscriptions. However, the app won't automatically do it. You still need to go back to the website and download the micro G edition. So just have a look where it says micro G advanced in brackets new and go ahead and tap on the version rectangle and then wait for that to download and same as before install it. And then once it's done, open the file, install. And this is basically just the front end to your Google account for that YouTube Vanced application, which is only optional, like I said before, if you want to save your playlists and subscriptions and all that sort of stuff. If you just go to YouTube just to watch videos and don't worry about the rest of it, then you don't need this. And once you open, now you can actually sign in as normal. And this app will allow you to add other features so just go ahead and have a bit of a play and enjoy ad free on your android device once again thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did uh, write me a comment if you have any questions i'm normally very responsive in my answers and um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't help me grow i'll give you some awesome tips in the future thanks again I'm out for today. Talk to you next time. Cheers.